I'm Lynn Jarman. I uh, have lived in Julian for five and a half years. I came from Pacific Beach, where we haven't been able to see stars in probably 30 years. And I remember coming up here in 97 with my new husband. We looked up at the sky and I said to him, what is that? And he said, honey, that's the Milky Way. So here I was, 49 years old, and I don't think I'd ever seen the Milky Way as an adult. You know, most people don't think about lighting or light pollution. It's not something that, uh, you know, you learn in school. If you live in the city, uh, you look up, you see maybe uh, 15 or 20 stars. And it's, so what? You know, there's some stars up there, and you see the moon when it's up, and there's really nothing that really grabs your attention. And, stimulates your mind. You know, this glow of the cities now has obliterated the, the Milky Way. 80% of the people in the United States can't see it. The light pollution is also something that affects uh, your, your sleep. Uh, if, you, if you can't uh, experience natural darkness, your body and your mind have a hard time winding down at night. It affects wildlife. The reason we have such plentiful wildlife in Julian is because we don't have much local light pollution. So we have all these species, the, the pollinators, the predators, the birds that are able to thrive here because there's not light pollution driving them away. When you get light pollution like you have in suburbia, the wildlife disappears. So that's another problem with light pollution. We have evolved over you know, billions of years of, just like all living things on the earth have a, that circadian rhythm. We need that. When we don't have that, it actually harms our health. A lot of people are losing that, that nighttime natural, you know, darkening of the day and harming their body's natural functions by light pollution. So there's a lot of it that doesn't all have to do with astronomy. It has to do with human health. It has to do with wildlife. It has to do with imagination, too. We're like an island in Southern California where you can still look up and see the Milky Way. They're outside of our little island, there aren't that many places where you can, at least where people live. We're working to have Julian become designated as a dark sky community by the International Dark Sky Association. We want to pr promote good lighting, a lighting that does the job that people need it to do, but doesn't intrude in our eyes, in our daily experience and into the night sky. Everybody loves our dark skies. People come here for that. They move here for that. I think it's so important for us to understand that as a community, as visitors to our community, and as people who, who live here and enjoy this beautiful dark sky community where we are. I would hate to think that we did anything other than preserve it and protect it and make it available for many generations.